Hey guys, this is Didi Witcher one here on Jimmy Master Metronics, and today we're going to be unboxing a very interesting item. So this item is a Jimmy Eyeball Doorbell knockoff. So I was looking on one of those Chinese sites and well, this other guy found the picture, but I didn't know where it went to. I don't know if he did either, but I ended up finding the website and it was on sale for like $12 shipped and it was like late at night and you had to use a card, but somehow I actually managed to get it. So it, it took a good while, probably about roughly two weeks, maybe longer, but it is finally here. Was not expecting this today at all. And yeah, so the box is a little dented in, but due to the size of the item, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Hopefully it's like this interesting yellow tape going on here. So yeah, what this is, this is, you know, if you, you probably know what the Jimmy eyeball doorbells are, you push the button, the eye opens and it looks side to side. However, this one, it looks like a tombstone in the shape of like a cross. And it looks like there may be only one eyelid that's on the top that opens and shuts. I don't know if the eyeball moves. I don't know what audio it plays. I don't know what kind of batteries it even takes. So I literally know close to nothing about this item. But it looks very much like a Jimmy doorbell, and I actually need just the, um, I just need the Cracker Barrel fancy doorbell, like deluxe eyeball doorbell from last year, the eyesore one. That's what it's called. And once I get that, I will have all of them. I have the Grand Red one. I have the Gold UK one that nobody really knows about. So yeah, it's like why not get the knockoff? So I don't know of any videos that exist of this item. So we're just going to go ahead and unbox this the best we can because, yeah, this tape doesn't seem like it's very durable, so I made it easy to open. I wonder why it's dented in there. It's obviously not good, but I'm, I'm hoping that it did not affect the item whatsoever. But we will have to see. And it's just bizarre, you know, because it's just on this Chinese website and everything. And, just some person in China like, hey, I like that doorbell, I will make one too. So, yeah, don't really know what to expect. I'm actually able to show you the whole process of unboxing because it's not too hard. And yeah, so there it is. Let's see what we spent $12 on. Ooh, it's on a card too, that's interesting. Very interesting. Oh wow, that looks just like a Jimmy item too. Like exactly. Some Chinese person's like hair on here. Rip Chinese person's hair. It'll be forever lost. I'm gonna put the camera down for this one. Just because I'm slipping my camera back around. I want to be able to safely do this and do it all the way with getting this bubble wrap off. Oops, I just cut through the person's hair. Yeah, this looks very legit like a Jimmy item. And the doorbell itself does not seem to be damaged whatsoever. So that's good. Wow, that is bizarre looking. Let's see if it... So I'm going to show it to you first. So here it is. This looks really like a Jimmy item. It looks like I do this. And the eyeball does move. And there's one lid that opens. And it's got a very Jimmy-like appearance. Um, so fairly good quality with the plastic. There's a pull tab right there. Not something like Jimmy. That's interesting. So it is once again this Dasini company that also made that face out ghost with like the pumpkin. So yeah, it actually does. It's made by the same company. So that made the knockoff face out ghost. So that's very interesting. So it says this, and it's and there's a piece of tape over to the part that says the on-off switch is located on the back of the product. If the on position, press the button on the front of the doorbell to place an item into the sound activated mode. I guess they just like the Jimmy one to not do that. There's also tape right here that's on the toggle switch, which is also not there. So yeah, I'm sort of nervous and interested and excited to see what this does because I have no idea whatsoever. Yeah, and I don't know much about Dasini. I think I tried to look them up at one point, but couldn't find much information. 
But that's interesting because they also made the face out goes knock off with like that pumpkin face, which is actually distributed through Sunstar, surprisingly, since it's a knockoff. Yeah, we're gonna pull this. Oh shoot, it just opened. Okay, let's see here. That didn't sound good. Let's press it again. So yeah, that is very, very bizarre because it has the same audio as the Gemini, I'm some kind of paint job, yet it's not. I believe if I were to take this off the card, the battery cover would be blank. So yeah, this is literally a Jimmy knockoff. The ghost was in the Sunstar catalog, but it didn't say it was Jimmy in there. And yeah, it's Decini. So unless like... I don't know how this could not be a knockoff, so we're just going to call it a knockoff. And yeah, it's, it's got the same audio, so that's sort of surprising. It's like, well, maybe they could at least, you know, copy the design but not the audio, but they have the audio too. And it's interesting because you press it and it like moves a little bit, then it opens. <laughs> Yeah, this is really bizarre, but hey, it's technically a Jimmy and made eyeball doorbell. So yeah, now I can add this to the collection. If you guys would like a collection video of the eyeball doorbells, let me know. I guess I'll try and get the Cracker Barrel one and then we will go from there, like from last year. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.